Hey gamers, this is Duke and welcome to my first YouTube video. Uh, a little bit about me before we get into the video itself. I play on the PlayStation 4 and I'm part of a gaming community known as Battlestrats. You can check us out on Battlestrats.com. We stress playing the objective and working together and exercising good communication to succeed. Now, I don't know about you, but uh, recently I was playing Iron Banner the week before last when it was available. And uh, I noticed a lot of poor gameplay by not only my random teammates, but the people I was playing against. So I thought I'd share some of the tips and strategies I use uh, in PvP so that uh, you could boost your own game. Uh, this video is going to be on control only. It's not going to talk about combined arms or iron banner. And I'll uh, work on videos for the other game modes a little bit later on. Now this video is gonna mainly going to be to uh, help you win. Uh, that's why we play the game. We play to win the game, as Herm Edwards would say. Uh, this is not really going to, it's not designed to boost your KD, but if you follow the tips and strategies in this video, uh, that is definitely going to be a side effect. Uh, you'll definitely see your KD improve. Alright, now let's start with the thing that makes control almost unique, and that would of course be the zones. Now the way control works is, the more zones you hold, the more points you get for a kill, and the more points you get, of course, the closer you are to winning, which is our goal. So, what you want to do is control as many zones as possible. Now, if you try and stretch to holding all three objectives, what happens is, usually you stretch your team too thin, and the other team kind of counters and takes control of two or three zones, and then you're at a disadvantage. So what you want to do is hold two or three zones. To do that, what you want to do is hold the easiest two zones to hold. Now, when you're talking about control, there's really two types of maps. You have a linear map and a triangular map. When I'm talking about linear or triangular, I'm talking about the way that the flags or zones are arranged if you were to look at the map from above. With the linear map, B is roughly located between A and C zones. Uh, when we're talking about linear maps, we're talking about like Exodus Blue, Anomaly, uh, those type maps. In order to see succeed on these type maps, what you want to do is control your spawn flag, and that's going to be Alpha or Charlie, and of course hold B. If you try to hold Alpha and Charlie, what you're going to do is just switch the spawns. The other team's going to spawn back at the flag you spawned on. They'll just capture that one, and you're just going to keep trading Alpha and Charlie when you need to be focused on holding the Bravo flag. With the triangular map, we're talking about uh, where the zones are arranged in a triangle. We're talking about maps like Shores of Time, Rusted Lands. With these type maps, we want to hold the two easiest flags, and that, that really varies on uh, what your opponent's trying to do. Now there are a few maps that have must-have flags. Basically what I mean is you want to hold these flags because it's much easier to hold the Bravo flag if you have this particular flag. So at Firebase Delphi what we're talking about is holding Alpha flag. If you have Alpha it is much easier to hold Bravo. So that needs to be your, your primary goal as soon as the game starts. Secure the Alpha flag and then you can easily control B and then you have two or three zones for the most of the match. Uh, with Shores of Time, it's B and C. Just based on the structure of that map, uh, it's much easier to hold B and C than Alpha and another flag. Uh, that flag, that map's just really poorly designed, and whoever starts on that side really has a huge advantage. Blind Watch is the same way. You want to hold Bravo and Charlie. Uh, again, you just have a huge advantage when you're holding those two flags. Uh, it forces the enemy come to you and if you start and you, if you maintain control of those two flags, you will have a high KD for the entire match. Okay, now once you get the two flags that you need, the two flags that are easy to control, don't get greedy. Don't go for that third flag. That's one of my pet peeves in control is when somebody on our team, whether it's a random or not, goes and tries to get the third flag. Don't do it. The only time you should ever do it is when you're trying to be merciful because the other team is garbage and you're just trying to get the match over as quickly as possible. 
otherwise don't get greedy what will happen is when you get that third flag you'll switch the spawn points and then the other team is going to start spawning on the flag uh, that you really want to control that's going to put you at a disadvantage so don't get greedy people alright now let's move on to heavy ammo anybody who's played PvP knows that heavy ammo is a game changer if you've ever been on one of those 10, 15, or 20 kill streaks, at some point you probably had heavy ammo and you were probably kicking butt with it. In control, when the heavy ammo comes, what you want to do is get as many people on your team around it as possible. Because when one person opens the heavy ammo chest, it expires for everybody, but anybody in the immediate vicinity gets the heavy ammo also. One of my pet peeves is when I'm playing control, some random on my team, runs to the heavy ammo chest and opens it before anybody else can get there and now our team screwed because only one person has heavy ammo and the whole other team is ready to go with rocket launchers and heavy machine guns be patient guys wait for your teammates to get there share that heavy ammo now obviously you don't want to wait too long watch your radar if you see red flashing up all around Get that heavy ammo and get out of there because you certainly don't want the other team to get it. It's also a good idea to communicate when the heavy ammo is on its way. Uh, the narrator says it for everyone. says heavy ammo is incoming, inbound. But a lot of people are so engaged in the game, they don't recognize it. So if you're playing with other guys, let them know, hey, heavy ammo is on its way. Get ready. Get near our location so you can be ready to pick it up when it gets there. Now, as far as waiting for other people to come around you uh, when uh, heavy ammo is inbound, there's one map where you really need to be careful, and that's the Asylum on Venus. The low side heavy ammo is within rocket shot of the, heavy, the high side heavy ammo drop, and so you're really uh, susceptible to getting hit by, heavy, by a rocket shot from the high side, so you need to be careful and probably not wait as long when you're getting heavy ammo from that side. Also, uh, another good strategy, if available, is to try to get both heavy ammos. Now this is really hard to do, and it doesn't happen often, but if you find yourself on the other team side of the map, a heavy ammo is there, pick it up and get out of there as quick as possible, and then that way your team has a huge advantage because your team has heavy ammo and they do not. When you're using heavy ammo, sometimes you feel like you're invincible, but in reality, you certainly are not. So what you want to do is keep firefights to mid-range. When you get into close-range firefights, what happens is you expose yourself to a one-shot one uh, kill from a shotgun or a fusion rifle. So maximize your advantage and keep firefights at mid-range. Alright, now let's move on to supers, which are so much fun to use and are very helpful and important to a winning a control match. In control people tend to congregate in the zones which makes the zones a good place to use your super. Uh, but you want to be effective and efficient. What I mean by that is you don't want to waste it first of all. You don't want to use it at a time where you're not going to get but one kill. But you want don't want to hold on to it for a really long time waiting to get a triple down or, or even four or five kills at a time. Use it when a good opportunity arises and don't waste it. You also want to pay attention to orbs on the ground. Easy, quick way to get that supercharged up. Now something you can do uh, when you're supercharged and you see a bunch of orbs laying on the ground is just use your super on one enemy, get that easy kill, pick up those orbs, and you're supercharged or close to it uh, again. But remember that orbs go away when you die. So if you use your super, but the other guy takes you out too, those orbs are gone and you've wasted your super just to kill a single guy. That's all I have for you today. Uh, be sure to click like or subscribe if you uh, enjoyed the video. Uh, post comments, what you liked, what you didn't like, what you want to see in future videos. Uh, also, check out my boy DBM Gamer on YouTube. Uh, he does lore videos on Destiny about uh, the stuff in the Grimoire cards. So if you want to learn more but you don't want to read the Grimoire cards, be sure to check out his videos and he goes into detail about that stuff and uh, news and stuff about Destiny. 
Uh, be on the lookout for future videos and uh, when you're finishing up those weekly nightfalls and uh, weeklies, uh, be sure to uh, show those off his boss.